On this week's Gadget Show Web TV, Otis checks out Ustream, a live online video streaming website. I bring you this week's best tech news, and John tests the Sony M Series notebook. Welcome to the Gadget Show's Web TV. Later on, Otis has some fun with some online video streaming, and I bring you this week's news. But first, John tests Sony's latest mini notebook, the M Series, to see if it really is lightweight, convenient, and ideal for anytime computing on the move. Sony have just launched a new netbook, the Veo M Series. Have they brought their usual design flair to it? I think no, actually. It's neat enough, but it doesn't have the design flair of the latest offerings from HP and Toshiba. If anything, the case feels rather bloated. The keyboard in particular doesn't take full advantage of the surface area of the base. It works well enough, but I think it would have worked a bit better if they'd used that full area and given it one of those more fashionable tiled keyboards. The specification is basically what you'd expect from a netbook these days. You've got an Intel Atom processor, albeit one of the more recent, marginally faster N450 1.66 GHz ones, with marginally faster onboard graphics, although nothing to get excited about. You've got a gigabyte of RAM, which you can't expand because the base of the netbook is sealed. Um, you've got uh, a webcam, you've got Windows 7 Starter Edition, a bright and sharp, but otherwise quite unremarkable 1024 by 600 10.1 inch screen. The trackpad isn't particularly brilliant, frankly, although on the positive side, you do get Bluetooth, N wireless, three USB sockets, and a card slot in which your SD card will fit flush. So all in all, it's a fairly ordinary netbook, but I think Sony realized this, which is why they've priced it accordingly. You can buy it for just under £300, and at that price, I think it'd be a perfectly acceptable choice, were it not for a couple of issues, one minor, one major. The minor point is that the sound quality through its internal speakers is quite poor, whereas normally at that sort of price, you can get netbooks which do have boosted sound quality. And uh, the second major point is that the battery life is rather poor. I was only getting about four or five hours, whereas most of its rivals are getting seven, eight, maybe even more hours out of a single charge, and they're no heavier than the Sony. So overall, in this highly competitive netbook market, I don't think the M series cuts it. Right, news time now, and first up, after selling a million of them, Apple has decided to put us Brits out of our misery and tell us exactly how much we can expect to pay to get our grubby little fingers on a new shiny iPad. Just a warning up front though, it won't come cheap. Prices start at £429 for a 16GB Wi-Fi only model and goes up to £599 for 64GB worth of storage. And you can expect to pay an additional £100 for 3G connectivity. If you do decide to splash your cash on a 3G model, be aware that it looks like data won't come cheap either. While the device comes unlocked, you can initially choose between Orange, O2 and Vodafone, but none of the plans available seem to offer exceptionally good value for money. You can expect to pay between 10 and £25 a month for anywhere between 250 megabytes to 10 gigabytes worth of data. Pre-orders are open now and the iPad officially goes on sale on the 28th of May. Next, with over 400 million active users, Facebook is by far the largest social networking site on the planet, with over 500 billion minutes spent on it every month. Now, alongside sharing your pictures, videos, and witty banter with your mates, you could soon be sharing your location as well. Rumours throughout the tech world suggest that Facebook is gearing up to launch a feature within the month that would allow users to tag their status updates whilst on the move with their GPS-enabled smartphones. Whilst an exciting prospect, it's sure to raise yet another debate about online privacy and exactly how much information we should be sharing with the world. What do you think? Let us know your views in the comments. Now, if you've ever wanted to broadcast live video from your PC or mobile phone, such as the iPhone 3GS, to an unlimited audience, well now you can, with the help of Ustream. And to see just how the innovative tech of live video streaming works, Otis filmed a short behind the scenes at the Gadget Show's production office. And keep an eye out, as you might see a few familiar faces. If you're a follower of our Twitter feeds, you'd have 
become familiar with this, the Gadget Show office, uh, LL Cool Norton there, and also some of the behind the scenes footage from Gadget Show Live. Now, we've been streaming video content, and this is how we've been doing it. An app that's available on the iPhone, it's the uh, Ustream Live Broadcaster app, which is the first application for the iPhone that allows live streaming to the internet. It works using a 3G or a Wi-Fi signal, and curiously enough, it also allows you to use your 3G uh, iPhone, even though there's no dedicated uh, form of actually recording video on that phone. Hi, what are you doing? Uh, streaming, you stream. Hello. Now, as soon as you go live, all your followers on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube are alerted that you're about to do so, so they can watch. It also comes with one or two uh, other really nice quirks. You can have an on-the-fly vote, uh, simply pose your question, and then uh, participants only have to tap yes or no on their screen to take part. You can also upload uh, any recorded videos to Ustream, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, baby. Now we found that uh, with a Wi-Fi signal, it works pretty much flawlessly. I mean, for proof, all you have to do is take a look at some of our Twitter feeds. And what is really interesting is how this will now be utilized uh, potentially by the millions of people who own iPhones. Well, that's it for today, but on next week's show, John tests the rugged Kodak PlaySport video camera, and I experience the power of a brand new quad bike. But until then, check out the rest of our website for the latest Best Buys and gadget reviews. And don't forget to catch the Gadget Show Summer Special this week, as Otis and Susie go head to head with the task of creating the perfect tech holiday for a surprise celebrity family. But from us here at Web TV, we'll see you at the same time next week.